This is how you export vertical videos in Premiere Pro. All right, so once your video is done and you're ready to export, the first thing you want to do is set your in and out points to select the part of your timeline or sequence that you actually want to export. So for example, I have these clips over here and this one down here that I don't want as part of my export, so I'm going to leave those ones out. Okay, so what you're going to do is take this blue line and move it to the start of your video. I like to go a little bit in front of it and then right click and select mark in, or if I go back, you can also hit I on your keyboard and then do the same thing at the end. I go a little bit past it, right click and select mark out, or again, if I go back, hit O on your keyboard. Then I go to the blue lines here where I got this red bracket, click on it and slide it to the start and then go to this one and slide it to the end. So now I'm only exporting this range right here. And then we're ready to actually export. So before you used to have to go up here to file, down to export, and then over to media or control M. Now with the latest updates, all you have to do is go up here instead of edit and click over on export and that'll bring you into the export window. But if we take a quick look over here, we can see that this is actually my full timeline or sequence. And this is that little section that I chose to export my in and out points right there. If I click on this little circle, I can zoom in even closer to that section to see that this is that little range. And if I click somewhere else down the timeline, you can see that I do have other videos that I made along here, but I'm just exporting this little chunk right here because I've selected for the export range to be source in to out. So my in to out point and not entire source, for example, which would export this entire thing. Okay, so now let's take a look at this section over here, which determines where your media or video is going to be exported to. So for me, most of this video is just going to be about media file, which means, and I have that activated here, which is basically exporting to a hard drive, like your computer or external drive, whatever it is. But you can also activate any of these other social media things, which means that when you export it, not only will it export the media file, but it'll also upload directly to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever. So for example, if I activate this YouTube one, I'm just going to close this down for a second. So if I activate this YouTube one, you can see that it adds this publish section, which means you can go to your channel. So if you already have it loaded, you can just click it there. You can put it on a playlist, put your title description. If you don't have one, you just click this plus. It'll take you to the interwebs where you can choose which channel you want to upload to and then follow the instructions. For now, I'm going to cancel that and then deactivate YouTube and then click back on media file. So I get those all those original drop downs. So the first thing you're going to do is select your file name. So just click in here and name it. So I'm going to go export shorts, then choose your location by clicking on this blue right here. So I'm going to click on that. And for me, it's going to be in exports, Photoshop and face effects. So that's where I'm exporting it to. So that's good. I'm going to select that folder for my preset. I'm going to click in here and I tend to choose match source adaptive high bit rate. And all that means is if I click that, if I go over here to source, my source is 1080 by 1920. So 1080 by 1920 for a short 29.97 frames per second. And if I look over at the output, it'll be the exact same. So 1080 by 1920, 29.97. That just makes it so it matches. But if I click back in there and I pick one of these other ones, so you could pick like I want high quality 4K or high quality 1080. If I click on one of those, just be aware of what happens over here. If you click, it's now going to make it so it's 3840 by 2160. Or if I go to 1080, so the numbers are the same, it's now going to make it so that it's 1920 by 1080 and it crunches my video into that. And you're going to have these black bars on the side. Now, if we drop this down again, even if you go to more presets, that adds a whole bunch of other ones in here. If we scroll right down to the very bottom, so we can see the YouTube ones, even those ones are still like the original like landscape version. So if I click on, oh, YouTube 1080p, that's the one that I want. If you click on that and then click OK, it's still going to do the exact same thing. So make sure in preset for a short, you just click on here and you go to match source adaptive high bit rate and you'll be good to go. As far as format goes, I just leave it at H.264. That's kind of the go to for any of these social media things. Just be aware that I just noticed this. If I actually go and click on it again, it actually flipped to this high quality 1080p HD. So if you do click on that, just double check your preset, put it back to match source adaptive high bit rate. And now all we have to do is go into video. I'm actually going to ignore all the rest of these things. They don't really matter for shorts. So I'm going to drop this down. If you've messed up your settings, you can click match source again right there. But I'm just going to scroll down here. I like to click render at maximum depth. 
use maximum render quality, then just head down here to encoding settings. And for performance, I have hardware encoding because my computer can do that. Yours might just have software encoding. Doesn't really matter. Hardcore is just going to be faster. And then down here, the last thing you're going to do is go to your bitrate settings. For bitrate encoding, I just tend to choose VBR one pass in there. And then for your target bitrate, it depends whether you're exporting in 1080 or 4K. So if you're doing 1080 like I am, I'd suggest anywhere between 16 and 20. If you're doing 4K, I'd suggest between 40 and 60. Well, that's what YouTube suggests. But since I'm doing 1080, I'm going to put it back at 16 and call it a day. Now, just be aware that if you change anything, for example, the target bitrate within any of these drop downs, so video, audio, whatever, that your preset is going to change to custom. So don't panic there and go, oh, I thought I picked match source, adaptive high bitrate, and then change it back. Leave it at custom now because that's good to go. And if we look at these three little dots right here, if you click on this, then you can also save everything that you did as a preset for future use. So I'm just going to go shorts export, click OK. And then now that'll show up. So in the future, when I drop this down, there'll be shorts export there that I can just pick and it'll set it up exactly like I have it. And then when you're done everything, just go down here to the bottom right corner and click export and it'll export with those settings. For other Premiere Pro tutorials, make sure to check out one of the videos on the screen right now. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.